So Blender 3.2 just dropped after looking into the patch notes a little bit. This feature right here is one of the most amazing features that we've been needing for Blender for a very long time. Now, this brand new caustic system is still a little bit under development. It's still not fully there and it doesn't include reflective caustics, but what it does include is worth the watch for this video. To make use of this caustic systems though, it's not enabled right away. You're going to need to turn it on. And the way that you do that is by turning it on for three separate objects. The first object is the object that has the glass or refractive material on it. You're going to need to tell Blender specifically that this is going to be an object that is going to cast caustics. You can do that under this tab under the shading options by clicking this checkbox. The second place you're going to need to turn it on is for the lights. Blender needs to know specifically to cast the right kinds of rays out of the lights to be able to pick up the caustics. Under the light settings, you'll notice a new checkbox. Click that and we're almost there. The last object is whatever is going to be catching the caustics. If you're gonna have a glass sitting on a table, for example, it's going to be the table. So click the table, find the same shading settings we found for our glass object and click the receive checkbox. You also have to actually have refractive caustics enabled in your light path settings. But of course, you need to keep in mind that that's going to turn on caustics for the entire scene. And that's it, you're gonna see your caustics are working right away. If you're really gonna to wanna to use it to its fullest potential, you're gonna to have to keep a couple of things in mind. You'll notice that if you go with perfectly sharp caustics with a completely sharp glass material and a completely sharp light, we get this weird black artifacting effect. A great way to cover this up a little bit is just to make your glass material just a little bit more rough, or take your light and change the size a little bit, just increase it the tiniest bit, and you'll see that it will blur out the caustics enough that you won't be able to notice that weird black artifacting effect. Blender seems to be on a roll with these awesome performance features. If you want to see another one implemented, you can click this video right here to see how you can render millions of objects and billions of polygons in a single scene. I can only imagine the cool things you can do with the caustics plus this tip.